It was the terrifying moment that UGN, UGA fans will never forget. A Southern University player paralyzed during a game in September 2015. Medics took wide receiver Devon Gales off the field in a stretcher with an injury to his spinal cord. For months, there were questions about whether he'd ever walk again. But this is Gales now. His mother shared this video Gales walking for the first time since that fateful day. Amazing. Well, Gail's mom said this moment left her speechless. But to hear him tell it, Devon Gales always knew he'd walk again. Fox Wise Portia Bruner spoke with Gales and he describes the experience in his own words. For the rest of us, it looks like a miracle. Oh, just taking a little stroll in the gym. <laughs> That's about it. But for Devon Gales, each and every step with the indigo exoskeleton feels like the long-awaited answer to a wish and a prayer. It feels real good. I uh, feel like I never stop walking. The Baton Rouge native had a big smile Thursday morning as he used the robotic walker for only the third time since physical therapists at Shepherd Center helped him take his first steps last week. His proud mother posted that milestone on social media. One week later, the 23-year-old is moving better than ever. I'm working a lot more than on a local mat, a walking machine in there. Mm -hmm. So you're getting good exercise? Yeah, and I'm, I even swim more now. <laughs> Devon has come a long way since that paralyzing hit at Sanford Stadium in September 2015. After he was carried off the field, most people wondered if the Southern University football player would ever take another step. But Shepherd Center physical therapist Claire Hardigan says the device is a game changer for patients with debilitating spinal cord injuries. So they can use their wheelchair to go someplace really fast, uh, soccer field, whatever, and then they can stand up, walk, and then sit back down again. So it's really a very exciting technology. But Devon is not helpless. Man, I can do this all day. <laughs> if they, they'll let me. He controls the exoskeleton with his shoulders and hands while the device keeps him stable and walking tall. It's a sense of freedom he hasn't had in nearly two years. Just know I can see my toes again without looking over a chair and able to have a second chance and walking again. That's all I can ask for. I feel like a kid at a candy store. Just to tell me, um, let's go walk. From Buckhead, Portia Bruner, Fox 5 News. Well, that indigo exoskeleton weighs 26 pounds. It's made up of five separate pieces, and it takes about five to ten minutes to get it on. And Devana is going to make periodic trips back to Shepard to keep learning how to use the device. His goal is to use the robotic walker without a trainer at his side. It's been so amazing.